Today we're checking out Bruce Do Book Redo. If you give a mouse a cookie, let's dive right on in. Alright, so not too long ago I was reading a book to my kid before bed one night. And the mm -hmm. book just so happened to be, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Which was a classic story back when I was a kid. And if you had mm -hmm. a crappy childhood and never heard of it, well, it's basically a story about a mouse that takes advantage of a small child and talks him into giving him cookies and then milk, milk. and then he wants a napkin, and then he's like, I don't know, doing weird stuff in his bathroom. There's a lot going on in that book, all right? I don't remember the whole mm -hmm. thing. But basically the point the book was trying to make was trying to get you to not be a pushover or else people are going to take advantage of you, especially piece of shit rodents <laughs> that have a hankering for fucking Pepperidge Farm cookies. chocolate chip cookies. And that's a pretty good message for kids, I got to say. But then at the end of the book, <clears throat> spoiler alert, at the end of the book, the goddamn mouse just asks for another cookie. What the hell kind of ending is that? The kid just gets taken advantage of the whole time and he's never like- He's hey, thirsty for milk and, and then he wants yourself. another cookie. You want a glass of milk so bad, why don't you get your ass up at 4.30 in the morning and do my fucking paper route, and then you can afford to buy your own goddamn milk. Nope, instead he's just a doormat the entire time. I mean, what the hell is this kid gonna nope. do when he grows up and his drug addict Uncle Bill asks to borrow three grand so he can start a fucking- professional hopscotch league oh yeah here you go business opportunity right. yeah no that's stupid as hell so what i'd like to do in this video is give you a slightly more realistic version of if you give a mouse a cookie it's gonna be the same gist of the story but with a few minor changes starting off oh, okay of course which i think should be called if you give a rat a frito by bruce two films <clears throat> all right all right here we go if you give a rat a frito well he's uh well, he's probably gonna ask for more kind of fucking pervert <laughs> and if you give a rat more fritos well he's probably gonna want a 40 ounce of malt liquor to wash it out <laughs> and if you're gonna give a rat a 40 ounce of malt liquor oh, well you boy. know his ass is gonna want a newport menthol to go with yeah he wants so some cigarettes too fritos. what do you expect and if you're the type of weirdo that gives rats cigarettes and fucking 40 ounces well chances are the rat's gonna ask to sleep on your couch for a couple yeah of he's gonna and be like i'm tired as fuck he can get back on his feet no big deal and if you do indeed let the rat sleep on your couch, well, he's probably gonna shit all over it. Can't let a fucking drunk wild animal sleep on your furniture. What the hell's the matter with yeah. you? Yeah. But if you do let a rat use your couch as his own personal toilet, well, don't be surprised if your wife packs her shit up and moves in with her sister because, uh, well, she doesn't know who the fuck she's married it's to gonna, anymore. And if your it's wife gonna stink indeed like shit. and you're suddenly roommates with a dirty ass rat, well, the rat's probably gonna ask you to co-sign on an auto loan for him because, well, what the hell? You've done everything else. Wow. He knows your ass has pretty good credit. Might as well take advantage. And if your lack of a backbone having ass does become a co-signer, well, the rat's gonna finance a piece of shit 2012 Ford. Oh my Ford God! Look at all the rats. Punk ass rat buddies. And if you let the rat do that, well, your house is going to look like a fucking parking lot behind a Kmart. There's going to be 40 ounces and rat shit and fucking Newport menthols all over the place. It's going to be icky, icky gross. Yeah. But if you do decide to let that shit happen, well, the city's going to deem your residence unlivable and they're going to condemn your fucking house. And if you let the city condemn your house, mm -hmm. well, your credit score is going to be in the shitter. The Ford Focus is getting repossessed for sure. And your ass is going to be homeless and living on the street. And if your ass is homeless and mm -hmm. living on the street, well, I bet you're going to be awfully, awfully hungry now, aren't you? And guess mm -hmm. what happens next? That's right. It's going to be your ass asking the rat if he's got any fucking Fritos. And all of a sudden, you're on the cover of a children's book titled, If You Give a Dumb Fuck a Frito. <laughs> dumb fuck. So the moral of the story, boys and girls, is number one, don't be a spineless pushover piece of shit. Number yeah. Number two, professional hopscotch is stupid as hell and three grand's going to buy your Uncle Bill a whole lot of smack. And number three, and most importantly, don't give a rat a Frito or a mouse a cookie or a fucking hamster a hot dog. Yeah. Don't give any food to any kind of rodents whatsoever. The end. Don't give pilgrims pizza or something. Or don't give like any like animal that starts with the letter P a slice of pizza. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't give a pig a pizza. Or a pig a pancake, whatever. That was the name. <laughs> if you give a pig a pancake, that was the book that I read. And it, and it was also the Mouse or Cookie book as well. Like, I do remember reading some of them. There was also, if you give a cat a cupcake too. Like, I remember those books. I remember! Hey guys, click on this video. You'll enjoy it. I swear. 